Hi everybody, we're back for another video. I was in the process of doing my um, Hebrew, you can see there, my Hebrew um, study and some reading for Hebrew school. <clears throat> and this is a um, olive traveler's notebook. It kind of looks more brown than green. We have one that looks more green than brown and one that looks more brown than green. And this one kind of looks brown. Um, of course, I got the zipper pouch. Um, so this is my, um, so I even have a little charm on it. There it is, a little Star of David, if it'll focus. Nope, I don't think it will. Anyways, so this is my um, Hebrew <clears throat> school notebook but I had something let me get that out of the way I had something arrive today um it was something I was expecting oh, what's that um it was being sent to me from uh AliExpress okay it's um an invoice that's in Chinese um but you can see it is Pint size, as I like to call it. Um, I will cut out for those of you that this offends the sound of the plastic. discovered I just threw the plastic. Oh, that's give us a five-star rating. Um, more plastic, so I'll cut out the sound. This is an item from Moturn. They included a zipper pouch. Excuse the plastic noise. It's just a zipper pouch with the four cards. There's the zipper. They included extra elastic. And they also included more plastic noise. What looks like to be an airplane charm. I'm not gonna take it out because I don't want to lose the little pieces. Because uh -huh. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it or what I'm gonna use, so more plastic noise. Let's just take a look and see. You can see it's kind of passport-ish size. And it is passport size. Um, come on. Oh, that looks beautiful. So, you'll notice something very similar, right? This is my Giglio dupe that's made with leather similar to that of a Giglio. This is the exact same thing, only it's made in leather like a Midori, but everything else is the same. It came with a lined insert. Oops. It came with a grid insert. And it comes with a blank insert. So you've got three inserts and you have a zipper pouch and the charm and the extra elastic. Now, just like this, it has the secretarial pocket here. It has a different finish to the edges, but they are burnished. And it has the same 
pocket configuration. Here, let me take these inserts out. There. So it has the same pocket configuration. One, two, three, four pockets here. The big pocket back here. It's really soft on the inside. It has two elastics. See, two elastics. And then these are the smaller ones. And then this is what makes it almost exactly like a Giglio. See how it's off to the side? It's not quite in the center of the back like a Midori, but it's off to the side. Why this one, it's in the center. So isn't that beautiful? It feels really nice. And it, just, it smells like brown leather. Um, but inside you see there's like a nap. Why in here, it's a um, really thin leather. Why this is the same leather as the front cover. So let me see, I've got a pull out of here then. I will, I'll leave my IDs in there. Or maybe I will pull them out. Let's see. So there's my monthly insert. Um, I've got a um, zipper pouch, proof zipper pouch, a um, monthly calendar for next year, a folder, and with a bunch of stuff in it. <laughs> and let's see what this looks like. And I'm gonna put my IDs and stuff in, so I'll be right back. Okay, I really wasn't expecting this today um, because, you know, AliExpress, you never know when things are going to arrive, um, you know, because it could get caught up in customs. But look at that. That is beautiful. I'm not sure what I think about the elastic coming out of a hole like that. I really liked this one because it came out of the spine. And I think this leather has a little bit more structure than this. This is a little bit floppier because it's only one layer of leather. Why this you can see is the two. And see how this has the finished edge like a Giglio? This isn't as finished. But it's still, it's a beautiful notebook and it's a passport. And I think these you can get on AliExpress, I don't remember what they told me what they were. Um, and then you also have these smaller elastics here, if you want to put a little something on them or not. And you've got that huge pocket back here. Wow, that is quite interesting. That's something that I'd have to get used to. Because I'm used to it either in the center or on the spine. But that three quarters way is kind of interesting. But I do like the detailing of the brass colored grommets. That's really nice. This one has brass on the outside as well. Let's see. I've used this um, every day since I've gotten it, and it has worn so well um you know this seal still looks brand new looks perfect and i've used it for a month same thing with my standard i've used this every day since i've gotten it and it just looks beautiful same same color layout just it's a really quality item and for the price, I mean, this was like 33 to $35. This was like, what, 25-ish? And this is a little bit cheaper. I wanna say this is like 18 to 20 on AliExpress. I haven't, I didn't, I wasn't able to find this on um, Amazon. Um, but look how beautiful that is. I might have to put my field notes to rest. I just only moved into it recently. I think, I, I like this because it scruffs up. It reminds me a little bit more of like the 
olive Midori leather because it's like that pull-up leather. While this is a little bit different. Like if we look back here, I don't think it'll... So yeah, it doesn't pull up like the other, but it's a beautiful brown and it's really soft inside. It's really nice. You know, I don't think you can go wrong. They have, um, they make them, of course, you can see in the passport size. They make them in the um, whoop, plastic. They make them in the standard Midori size. Um, they make some things in the field note size, but these they don't, only passport and standard. Um, but they're also coming out with something that will hold the uh, Hobonichi Weeks, and it's in a leather like this, and they're like either solid black and a red and an orange and a blue, um, and they look really nice. Um, but I just thought I would share with you a quick little unboxing of this cute, cute, cute little passport notebook that I'm going to keep things in it for a while. I might move out of this, <laughs> even though I just moved into it. Um, I don't know. I love how thin it is, though. Ugh, is there ever such a thing of having too many to choose from too many decisions because they all work so well. So yeah, this is the last notebook I have coming. I knew that they were gonna be sending me some, one of the new designs to try. Um, non-sponsored, non-sponsored. Um, I just happen to really love the items. I've got the blue one too. That. One of their Hobonichi Weeks comes in the blue color. They also have one that's all orange. They have one that's all black. They have one that's all, um, like the inside and outside is all gray. They've got a, um, like a reddy fuchsia-y colored one um, coming out. I'll include some photos here at the end so you can see what will be coming soon. <laughs> told me that they know I don't use the Hobonichi Weeks, but that is something that they are releasing soon. But look how cute that is. So for those of you that like texture, for those of you that don't like texture, this might scuff up, you know, because it's more of a natural leather, or this is more of a, um, it's gone through more of a process. So um, I will find the link for this and link it. Um, and I'll also find the links for these on Amazon and link them because that's where I got them. Um, so there you go. If you have any questions, please pop a comment down below. And thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.